Hi. Now, in part C of this question, we're asked to hence find the value of A and the value of B. And remember, we've got one equation, which is 10A plus 25B equals 2. And in the last part, we found out that another equation in terms of A and B was 30A plus 100B equals 7. So if you'd like to uh, find out A and B, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So essentially, if we're going to find A and B, it's a question of just simultaneous equations. So what I'm going to do is call this equation 1, and we'll call this equation here 2. So what I'm going to do, and there's many ways that you can solve these simultaneous equations, uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is take equation 1 and multiply it by 4. So I can bring the B term up to 100. So if I take equation 1 and multiply it by 4, it's going to give us, OK, I'll just write 1 times 4 gives. What does it give us? Well, if we times this by 4, we're going to have 40a plus 100b equals 8. And what I'll do is I'll call that equation 3. So I'm now going to work with 2 and 3. So if I was to do equation 3 minus equation 2, OK, what's that going to give us? Well, we've got 40a minus 30a, so that's going to be 10a. And then 100b minus 100b, well, that's 0. And then we've got 8, take away 7, which is 1. And so 10a equals 1. If we divide both sides by 10, you end up with a equaling 1 tenth, or as a decimal, 0.1. Now that we've got a, all we need to do is just substitute this value, let's say sub a equals 1 tenth, into any equation, 1, 2, or 3. It's up to you. I'm going to go into equation 1. So we'll say sub a equals 1 tenth into 1. So what have we got? We've got 10 times a. So we've got 10 multiplied by 1 tenth plus 25b equals 2. And if we just come down here, see what we get next. So 10 times 1 tenth is 1 plus 25b equals 2. Take away 1 from both sides, and you therefore have 25b equals 1. And divide both sides by 25, and you get b equals 1 25th. So that is decimal, by the way, is 0.04. So in summary, then, we can just say, therefore, a equals 1 tenth or 0.1, and b equals 1 25th, or essentially 0.04. OK, so nice easy one there. Simultaneous equations then.